have a, a knockout since the Cotto fight. He fought overseas for the first time in a long time, and now he has a knockout. What did you make of that? He makes shit out of it. He, he had a knockout. You weren't suspicious of it at all? No, I, I just see where you're trying to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying, I'm going. I already know where you at. I don't know what he was shooting in his blood, brother. I just know he got a knockout that time, man. You know what I'm saying? We asked you about this in New York, and you said there was going to be USADA testing for the Yeah, fight. yeah, VADA, VADA. Oh, it was VADA testing? It was VADA testing, okay. yeah. so, so you've been testing a lot? Yeah, yeah, I've been tested, yeah. After I made some noise, but, uh, yeah. But it was supposed to, because you did say USADA at the first, they changed it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You trying to get real technical or some shit. No, but v VADA is better than... Sada. I don't know what's better, brother. I just know they take blood and piss. But they, so you were testing, so you feel comfortable going into Hey, I feel real comfortable. Testing. I feel real comfortable. You said you made some noise. What, what do you mean by that? Huh? Everybody seen it and went viral. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate a little bit? Nah, I can't elaborate on it. <laughs> you? No, I mean, both guys tested, you know, um, to prepare for the fight and, uh, it's gonna be a great fight Saturday night. Maybe he's looking to become the new WBA. Is this the right place, right time for this fight? I know you dreamt about fighting somebody like Tyson for a long time. Um, you feel like came at the right time for you? Like I always said, like I was always told, man. Um, time take place. Time, time is the perfect thing for everything. Timing. And I think it's just my time to take over the sport of boxing. And um, this fight is just it's time. You know, it wasn't time back then, but now it's time. And um, <clears throat> I gotta take advantage of it. Is it better now that you've had your ups and downs in your career so to make you a different fighter heading this fight? Would you have been prepared for that fight if it happened three, four, five years ago? Uh, we never know, you know, but we know we're ready. We're 100% ready now. And, you know, uh, <laughs> I just can't wait. Is this the most focused you feel like you've ever been for a fight? One of them. One of them. I can't say that. One of them. This is one of This has been one of my, uh, Best camps, and uh, man, I just can't wait to go out there and put on a hell of a show. I got uh, I got my young fighter starting it out, Slick Dance and Bro Slitter from Chicago, and then I got Big Bro starting it out, and then <coughs> I got to finish it. So, does it feel good to be able to, you know? Do something for these guys that you grew up with, or like be a mentor to some of these guys, being the kind of tough upbringing that. Uh, you know, Cincinnati out there. Of course, man. You know, coming from Cincinnati, man, it feel real good. You know, uh, what can I say? I, I, everybody that we've looked up to, you know, um, they either got in trouble and, and things happened down the line to where it's like, dang, we can't go that road. We got so 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 now coming up, we got to break that curse. They call it a Cincinnati curse. So so you know, guys like me, guys like Rashi Warren, and we got to break the curse, the, the curse, and, and show the kids that there's other ways to go. You know what I'm saying? Other than getting in trouble. Who were some guys that you looked up to when you were coming up in, in the boxing game as a young kid? I mean, it was a lot of guys. We got we got Rashid Warren, we got uh, Ricardo Williams Jr., we got Ron Siler, we, we got Rave Springs. Uh, we got a, we got a lot of guys, and, and you know um James Helms. James Helms. It's a lot of guys. Keith Kemp. I mean, it, it it can it can go. You know, Gerald Tucker. We got a lot of guys that yeah. that really done some great things and. and in the boxing world, but you know, um, I think we've taken it in, in to another level on the professional side, and you know, that's where we at with it now. It's interesting you bring up Ricardo Williams because obviously he was a guy that had a lot of promise, was on HBO really early in his career. Yeah, didn't didn't kind of cross that threshold into being a superstar. You're you're a superstar. You're one of the biggest no names in boxing, even though you've won and lost. Um, does this Pacquiao fight take you to another level if you're able to win this? Absolutely. Um, this this start another chapter in my book, and you know um, it's only up from here. You know uh, this this after this win, it it, it gives me and put me right back where I was supposed to be and where where my name should have already been. But you know uh, it all start uh, January nineteenth.